uh, Caracas growing houses and I always say it's two ways the house grows. One, you can actually see that it's a self-built architecture. You can see that there will be another floor coming up soon. But on another side, it's also growing because it actually talks about the existence who live, of people who live in the houses. So you actually grow your life, you grow life of your family, but also of the community where you live. The house is actually, for me, it's a body. It's like, in a way, like a, encountering another person in a gallery space. Uh, it's very important that I, al I always use in architectural case studies, I always use building materials. Why? Because they have materiality. And uh, the house has a front and the back, and it actually uh, is never positioned parallel to the exhibition uh, space, it's always behaves in a space like a person you encounter. And I do believe that actually you can read architecture as an open book. You can actually understand the values and the conditions of builders that build the house. Existence is always a coexistence, I would say. And of course, you see it very well expressed in the informal city, maybe better than in our modern cities. When I worked in Caracas informal city, we stayed there as a group uh, half a year. Uh, I actually, when I entered the informal city, it was conveyed to me as being a city of chaos. But after, like before we left, we realized it's a well-regulated city. It just has a different kind of regulation. For instance, in informal city, they have oral regulations, and in our societies, we have written regulations. So it's a total myth that you can build anything you want. You actually always have to have approval from, from the community. I, I love to work together with people and uh, this is how it all happened. So I'm never thinking about authorship, but I'm thinking about co-authorship. This house as well wouldn't exist here if there wouldn't be a lot of people that worked on the project together with me. When I started to work in Caracas, at the time Informal City was stigmatized and it still is to a certain degree. People think it's only poor people and uneducated people who live there, I encountered a very different reality and I really learned from it.